Good morning. Welcome back. We're here for another adventure with the along the Okuno Hosomichi, the narrow road to the deep north, or as I have it, Basho's Road. And today we're going to section 22 of this journey. And the reason we get right into the middle of it is because uh, the time that Basho was here in this area in Sendai is right now. And so this is the sections dealing with this particular time and time of the year. So that's why I'm going here. So uh, today's section 22, and I like to uh, get right into it. Following, according to Kaimon's drawings, by mountains along the Okuno Hosomichi, and where the sedge is for ten stitch mats. And ten stitch sedge mats are even now offered annually to governors. The Tsubo no Ishibumi is in the village of Ichikawa in Tangajo. It is about six feet high, three feet wide, moss-eaten, writing indistinct. It gives the distance to the border in all four directions. And on it is inscribed, quote, the castle was here, the castle was placed here in the first year of Jinki, which would be uh, the year 742 by Inspector Protector Generalissimo Ono no Ason Azumahito. Well, restoration was done in the sixth year of Tempyoji, which would be 762, 762, by Generalissimo Asakari, Council and Envoy to Tokai and Tozan. Twelfth month, first day. End of quotation. That would be in the reign of Emperor Shomu. And through poetry we hear much of long ago places. Yet mountains crumble, rivers and roads change course. Stone markers get buried, hidden under earth, and aged trees are replaced by young. Time moves, times change. What remains uncertain leads to here, without doubt, a remembrance of a thousand years now flowing before our eyes, the spirit of those of old. This is one virtue of journey, the joy of being alive. The pains of travel are forgotten, and we're left with only tears. Okay, so I mentioned yesterday the uh, Tsubo no Ishibumi, and that's, it's still there even now. It's uh, as it described in the text, and so no big change in that. It also has directions on it uh, and distances to far away places, even uh, as far away as other countries. Uh, there's a, in a city that would have been in present day Korea is on it. And of course, the uh, distance to uh, a city in China is on it. And of course, the distance to the capital, which at that time would have been the city of Nara, uh, is written on it. And uh, it mentions that, that it's located in the, uh, the village of, uh, in the city of Tangajo. Uh, Tangajo, of course, is, uh, well, not of course, but Tangajo is a, uh, city west of Sendai. Uh, long ago there was a, uh, a castle there, a palace, let's say. It was the uh, stronghold of the uh, Japanese uh, uh, representation of the, the Japanese uh, tribe, which was you know, gradually moving north and uh, expanding. And this was the northernmost outpost of, of that. And some very famous uh, uh, poets were uh, appointed as governors uh, 
as, uh, of this area, and they were, of course, living in the palace in Hangzhou. Uh, one that comes to mind is Otomo no Yakamochi, who was one of the uh, main editors of the ancient uh, anthology of poetry, the oldest, uh, I think, uh, anthology of poetry in Japan, the Manyoshu uh, collection of 10,000 leaves. Uh, he's famous uh, for a poem of his from around here, which goes, Michi no ku no kuni kogane no hana sakuya, which uh, talks about the discovery of gold uh, here in the in the north. Uh, actually, it was discovered here in uh, Miyagi Prefecture. Uh, there was a there was a uh, uh, not enough gold in Japan to put the gold coat on the on the great Buddha of Nara. If you visit Nara now, uh, you'll see the uh, Nara, da Nara Daibutsu, it's, it's black. Uh, however, originally it was coated with gold, but uh, they couldn't find enough gold to coat it. So uh, they went to uh, Ishiyama Dera, uh, which is in uh, Shinga Prefecture. Uh, Ishiyama Temple, which is, you know, famous uh, for uh, Murasaki Shikibu wrote supposedly part of the uh, her uh, first novel, the first novel uh, in in the world, the Tale of Genji, uh, wrote part of it there. And uh, uh, anyway, so a, a priest went to Ishiyama Dera to pray, uh, pray for gold. To put on the on the Nara, uh, the, the great statue of Buddha in Nara, and shortly after that, gold was discovered here in Miyagi, in what is now the town of Wakuya. And so it's the the gold from Wakuya that was used to put the coating on the uh, the great Buddha statue in Nara. Okay, uh, let's go on. And uh, so this. Uh, that in Tangajo and uh, let's see here, uh, what else though? Uh, Basho went there, he's not the first uh, traveling poet who went there. Uh, he generally follows along the routes that uh, other uh, poets from previous ages had followed him, and particularly uh, one of the well-known ones is uh, priest Saigyo, Saigyo Hoshi uh, was here at this uh, exact same uh, stone. So these, uh, and as I mentioned yesterday, the uh, and as mentioned in this text here, that the uh, the name Okuno Hosomichi is, was pre-existed Basho, right? It was already used by uh, haiku poets here as a name for the road that went, went from Sendai uh, to, uh, to the west, to the coast, to the Pacific. Uh, and, uh, so, that's about uh, it for this section. Okay, and tomorrow I think we'll go into, uh, no, uh, the day after tomorrow we'll go into, uh, into Matsushima. Okay, so, uh, thank you again for tuning in. Uh, remember, don't touch that dot, keep tuning in. This is your daddy -o on the radio. Uh, giving you the lube from the tube, the YouTube, and uh, the boss with the red hot sauce, solid Ted, enough said, live, love, laugh, and be happy. No matter what happens, maintain your cool, don't be nobody's fool. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. <laughs>